good morning everyone so with this lecture today onwards we are going to start a digital electronics modular course this is the first lecture okay this lecture is about number system So before going to concept to create interest for you on subject, here I framed some questions. We will read the questions. For all these questions, I will give explanation and answers also in further uh, slides. Why digits are from zero to seven in octal? Why not from one to eight? Because octal base is eight. Uh, it means it contain eight digits if we take one to eight then also eight digits if we take zero to seven then also eight digits then in that case why not one to eight why zero to seven that's the question second question why there is no one number system we are telling number system two three but why there is no number system one that's the question next the number systems we discussed are positional or non-positional or generally whatever the number systems we discuss those are positional or non-positional next question the number systems we discuss are fixed point or floating point no. next question what are the real time applications of decimal binary octal hexadecimal number system because those only we are using mostly no so where we use it what are the applications then what is meant by positional number system and fixed point number system we have to define this okay and we use positional number systems why we are using only positional what's the reason okay and we have to define number system and we have to define the base then next question why we use a binary number system only in digital systems we know in digital systems we use a binary so why binary only in digital next question is hexadecimal number system replaced after why so yes actually uh, hexadecimal replaced octal number system now there are reasons so you have to describe it so there are some terms terminology symbol coefficient character digit with respect to number systems you have to define them then digit and bit there is similarity and there is a difference also so you have to describe it for example last question if i take a base number uh, uh, base 20 what can be the last digit in uh, base okay this is the question so for this all questions uh, you can try answers and uh, later you can take answers whatever the explanation i am giving based on that okay now we'll see the explanation first we will discuss about the number system definition the way of representing numbers is nothing but number system way means number format with respect to base for example if i wrote 19 base 10 19 is a decimal number and 10 is the base so i am indicating the number 19 is in decimal okay so that is the way of representation with respect to base if i represent 20 base 8 20 is the octal number it is in base 8 okay that is meant by number system and we can also treat base as a number system for example if i say base 10 10 is the number system no? okay like that also we can understand what this base actually uh, represent this base is telling the total number of digits contained in that number system for example if i say base 10 that uh, decimal number system contain 10 digits 0 to 9 or if i say base uh, 8 
that octal number system contain eight digits zero to seven. Okay. So actually, there are so many number systems. They start from two and so on, but we mostly use binary, octal, decimal, hexadecimal because of real time applications. That's why we discuss those only mostly. And these all number systems, whatever we discuss, we use. These are positional number systems. There are non-positional also. For example, Roman number system. What is meant by positional? For example, if I take uh, 19 base 10 that uh, 9 uh, weight is 10 power 0 and the one weight is 10 power 1 so in position number num in positional number system each digit contains specific weight respective weight but in non positional number system like roman number system there are no weights to the digits okay that is meant by positional non positional okay so we use positional number systems only because calculations or conversions or manipulations manipulation means converting one number system into another that is also called conversion nothing but calculation that is possible only when digits have weights okay so if we want to do conversions definitely we should use only positional number system okay and uh, whatever positional number systems we are using these all are fixed point number systems there is a floating point number system also in the fixed point number system the point position is fixed it won't float it or it won't move but in floating point number system point position will change it can move it can float okay so whatever the number system we use those are positional and those are fixed point and uh, we use binary number system in the digital system like calculators computers okay the reason is is digital systems contain two state elements like transistors okay so it work in only two states like uh, zero is one state one is another state so what is the suitable number system the binary that's why we use a binary number system in the digital systems and we use a decimal number system in the real life for example if i want to take attendance or if i want to count money whatever the number we forming in real life we are forming with 0 to 9 digits only na no? even if i say 786 that number is formed with only 0 uh, to 9 digits only okay so we can say decimal we using in real life now we'll see about uh, octal and hexadecimal number systems in old days our memory capacities are very less that time uh, to allot memory addresses to each location 0 to 7 digits are enough so that uh, that time we used octal but nowadays there are large memories to and to assign uh, addresses to that memory locations 0 to 7 digits are not enough so we need more digits so that's why we went to hexadecimal so in hexadecimal we can get to 0 to 9 and a to f more digits so more possible addresses possible okay so in that sense uh, this uh, octal replaced by hexadecimal for memory address and this octal and hexadecimal we can also use in microprocessor and in early mini computers okay these number systems are not negative or fractional or mixed mixed means combination of integer and fraction so always number systems are positive and integers and the maximum digit in any number system should be base minus 1 or r minus 1 r means radix and the minimum digit should be 0 suppose if i take a decimal number system if i apply this condition maximum digit r minus 1 so base is 10 10 minus 1 9 so the maximum digit is 9 and the decimal number system should contain 10 digits 
if i am ending with a 9 i should start with a 0 then only i can get 0 to 9 10 digits that's why the minimum digit in any number system always a 0 and the maximum is r minus 1 that's why we cannot take uh, 1 to 10 in decimal number system okay suppose if i say base 2 it means the number system to contain two digits those two digits 0 1 we can also call characters symbols or core coefficient for example in octal number system that 0 to 7 we can call digits or characters or symbols or coefficient okay suppose if i take a decimal number system the 10th position weight will be 10 times the unit position weight and so on for example number 19 is there the uh, digit 9 weight is 10 power 0 the digit 1 weight is 10 power 1 so in that case uh, that uh, 10th position uh, will be 10 times greater than the unit position right and generally when we writing you uh, that base we write like a subscript here we can see this decimal number system contain 10 digits 0 to 9 and octal contain 0 to 7 binary contain 0 to 1 for example if i take base 3 it contain 0 to hexadecimal contain 0 to 15 nothing but 0 to 9 and a to a that 10 will be equal to a and the last digit 15 will be equal to f okay. now we'll see some more points so there is no zero number systems number system what is the reason if i say zero number system how many digits it contain zero digits it means no digits there are no digits it is meaningless no? that's why there is no zero number system. then why there is no number system one if i say number system one it contain one digit that also less than the base that is zero if I form any number with 0, it will be 0 only. It is also meaningless. That's why there is no number system 1. Okay. We generally say bit. Bit is uh, actually, it's a shortcut. It's not a full form. So the full form is binary digit. See this uh, binary bi and in the digit last letter t. Like that we take. Okay. So this bit means either uh, 0 and 1. Suppose if I take some other digits except 0, 1, those are not digits because they, those are not in binary. 0, 1 can be digits and bits, but others are only digits but not bits. 